Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how we create a sales invoice to invoice one of your customers. First, first steps here, we want to go back into this section we spoke about previously about debits and this invoices ODU section. And under here you've got a real quick shortcut which says new sales invoice. So click on that and then this box will pop up. So this is how we create our invoice. We can see here we've got a new invoice field. So the first step you want to do is you want to pick your customer contact. Now for the purposes of this explanation, we're going to use iCount Beans, which we just created in the previous video. And if you just start typing the first three initials, that contact will pop up. So you just select that contact. Now if you want to pick the date, you can just select via the drop down box and pick calendar if that suits you. Or alternatively, if you want a shortcut, you can click plus and then zero and then tab, and then I'll take you to today's date. And if you want to then choose a due date, you can click plus 14, and that'll automatically calculate 14 days from there. Or plus seven, it'll calculate seven days from the invoice date. Alternatively, you could do plus 30. So for today, we'll do plus 30. And what we have here is the basis for our invoice. Now, firstly, I want to talk about this inventory item. So if you sell various items and you've set up some inventory accounts, you can have pre-done items. For example, this one here has got some t-shirts and that's pre-fill the box. That's a really good way to do uh, quick invoices. For example, if you do a regular service business, you may have an item for your service, e.g. Uh, one hour charge out for fixing plumbing repairs if you're a plumber or maybe it's um you know legal fees so you know for example if you're a lawyer you might have professional services item but in this example i'm going to show you not how to tick an item but basically how to do one from scratch so i'll just remove that and we're just going to do one from scratch let's say we've got no item we just want a quick invoice so we say professional services for period ending 24th to 9.15. That's our description. Let's say we had one hour, and let's say it was $50 for argument's sake. Then we pick sales as our account, and we choose, we choose whether it's exclusive or inclusive of GST. Exclusive obviously adds GST on the bottom, on top, and inclusive includes it. So if we're happy with that price, then we got two functions now. We can either save it as a draft, right or we can approve it so if you're not done with this invoice and you want to review it later save it as a draft if you're completely happy with it click approve because remember once you click approve you can't delete it you can only void it which keeps it in our system forever so what we're going to do is we're happy with this invoice we don't need to do any further changes so we're just going to click approve and what that will do now, that will generate an invoice in our system that can now no longer be deleted. Okay, very good. So that's now been created. So now we've got a few options. So if we then want to email it, we can email it by clicking that email function and send it directly to our customer there. We can also have a pre-done email and we can include a PDF of the invoice as attachment or we can also include files as an attachment so what that means is that if you have various documents attached to the invoice they will also come with that email which is really good if you for example are receipt banking dockets from a job so that's how we do it there and you can also ask it to send you a copy of the invoice so that's what those functions are and then you literally just click send okay the next option is you print a PDF, right? Now, when you print a PDF, you can mark it as sent. And that means that, look, we're sending this from our own Outlook software. And we want it to be marked as sent in zero so that we know we actually have sent it. Very good feature. So if you click mark as sent, it will show as if it has been sent through zero, even though you're actually going to send this from your own email software. So then click print. It will not print it. It will just generate a PDF and then that PDF will then load, like we're looking at our screen now. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to load the PDF, so just be patient, and that'll pop up a completed PDF that you can then save to your desktop, and you can email that. So there we are, there's our demo invoice, and you can see here we've got our description, demo company, and we've got our bank details on the bottom here. 
and of course some pay online options there as well. We won't go into that in detail today, but effectively that's the basis for creating an invoice. Then you can just save it to your desktop if you want, and you can email it from your own email software. Then if we're happy with this invoice now, it's been sent, we can then just click back on invoices and we can search for further invoices or we can create another one if we wanted to create more invoices.